Hi everyone, welcome to ZDNet. Today we're going to be talking how to pair and charge both generations of the Apple Pencil to your iPad. I'll confess, part of my reason to buying a new iPad this Black Friday instead of a much needed new laptop was so that I can seamlessly write notes without carrying around a bunch of different notebooks and planners. Writing with your Apple Pencil, totally easy. But the unboxing experience and pairing the pencil to your iPad for the first time can be a little less than intuitive. But don't worry, we've got you covered and are gonna show you exactly how to do it. With that, let's get into it. First, let's talk pairing and charging the first gen Apple Pencil to an iPad. At the rounded end of the first gen Pencil is a silver magnetic cap that is the key to pairing and charging, the lightning connector. You can initiate the pairing by just flicking off the cap and plugging it into the iPad's charging port. The same goes for when you went to charge the pencil. It's important to note that if you have a 10th gen iPad with a USB-C port instead of the lightning port, the first generation Apple Pencil is still compatible, but you will have to use a USB-C to lightning adapter and a USB-C to USB-C charging cord for the pairing and charging process to work. Once the Pencil's lightning connector or USB-C adapter is connected to the iPad, a pair button will pop up on the display inviting you to connect the accessory. Now when it comes to pairing and charging the second gen pencil, it's even easier than ever, and thankfully more aesthetically pleasing. Just be sure that you turn on the Bluetooth settings by either visiting the settings menu or swiping down on the upper right hand corner of the home screen and tapping the Bluetooth quick toggle. So the second gen pencil ditched the cap and just opted for magnetic attachment. So how you would slip a pen or pencil down a notebook spiral, the Apple Pencil just magnetically clips on to the iPad's right hand side when held in portrait orientation. Once the pencil magnetically attaches, the iPad should detect the accessory, give you a prompt to continue pairing, and show a brief how-to for how to write with the pencil. The same goes for when you want to charge it. As long as your second gen pencil is clipped onto the iPad's right side magnetic strip and your iPad has enough battery to distribute, of course, your pencil will automatically charge. So there you have it. The process is really super simple and unless your iPad completely factory resets, you just have to pair it the one time and then you can jot down a quick note. I hope this video helped, and for my full written how-to on how to pair and charge an Apple Pencil, make sure to check out ZDNet.com.